All right, people. So today, okay, my glasses. Okay. So today, I was thinking about trying to copycat one of my favorite things to to have for lunch or whatever, and it's a spicy chicken sandwich from. Can you see her? All right. So the thing is, I'm gonna try to replicate it. Listen, I haven't gone online to cheat or anything. It's just I'm using my own idea of how I can make my own version of her spicy sandwich. All right, so this is what I came up with. All right, so this is what I'm gonna attempt to use. I have this chicken breast. I just cut it off the bone. You save the bones to make stock. I ran out of lemon and lime, so I'm just soaking it in some acid. In this case, this is apple cider vinegar. And um, it's been here eh, a couple minutes. I'm gonna season it. What am I gonna season it with? So, you're gonna need acid, some sort of acid, you know. I um, Like I said, I use lemon lime, but today I used apple cider vinegar. Okay, let's move on. So I'm gonna use some salt, some black pepper. I'm gonna use onion powder, garlic powder, oregano. And I'm going to use a dash of cayenne pepper. This is to season the chicken. So I'm going to season it. I'm going to drain this, season it, and put this in the fridge. In the meantime, I need to make, you know, a breading because we're going to fry this, right? So I have some flour ready and some cornstarch. How much? We'll get to that. And we also need to dredge it and put it into like an egg wash so I have one egg okay so I'm gonna season this chicken and then we'll come back to the ma oh I also have buns here on the side and lettuce and tomato I think that's what they put on the sandwich right um, okay so let's see how it goes for me all right so here's my little workstation this is some flour how much flour this is not even a half a cup this is like maybe a third of a cup here a third here this we're gonna use this to dredge it we have an egg scrambled. I could have scrambled this up a little better. Whatever. And uh, here we have another dish of flour. But to this dish of flour, we're going to add two things. First, about a teaspoonful of cornstarch. Because this is the last thing it's gonna go into before we fry it. You know, let me put a little more. Because we're just doing one. You know, if I, if I were doing more, I would put in more. <clears throat> and we're also gonna season this. Because again, I wanna be careful with the salt. So that's not even, that's not even half a teaspoon. There's salt already on the uh, chicken. Salt, a sprinkle of black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, some of the oregano. Each of these is like not even half a teaspoon, so half of a quarter teaspoon of each. And oh, and lastly, the cayenne, which is going to give us our spicy spiciness. So with this, that that's a little more than half of a half a teaspoon. Oh, and you know what else? What I did not add to the chicken was some <clears throat> paprika. But I just want to add a dash here for a little more color. I mean, the cayenne is going to give it color, but you'll see it's two different reds. All right, so now... Um, I'm going to mix this up, and this is going to be kind of like the coating before we fry it. Okay, so let me get the chicken ready, and let's see how this goes for me. You know what? Another thing just occurred to me. Why not add some of your favorite hot sauce to the egg? So that's what I'm going to do couple drops 
Ooh, baby. This is gonna be so good. Give it another mix. This is just my idea. I'm just freestyling it. And, uh, alright, let's go to our chicken. Okay, so I got the chicken out of the fridge. Excuse me while I fix the camera. Nice and seasoned up. What are we going to do first? <clears throat> We're going to dredge it in the flour. I'm going to really squeeze down on it to help, you know, take out liquid. Also to flatten it a little bit and fit better on the bun. I could have cut, cut this uh, chicken breast in half. And I guess that's up to you, depending on how, how thick you want the uh, sandwich. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to put it into the egg. And lastly, yeah, this has good coverage. That's good. Make sure we get every nook and uh, cranny into our breading. Or what's going to be the uh, final coating, I guess. I don't know. Remember, this has cornstarch in it, so that's going to help with the crispiness and everything. some of this over here. I feel like I maybe should put a little more oregano. And again, I'm going to try to get every nook and cranny. Mmm, I smell the spice. I smell the cayenne. Alright, so now I'm going to get my oil up to heat and uh, I'm just going to put this here for now, let this rest here, and let's see how it goes. Alright, I moved over, and uh, I tested my oil, and it's popping, son. Uh, right now it's on medium. Um, let me turn it medium low. I'm going to turn it medium low. Got my tongs here, right? So we're going to get our chicken right in there. And, you know what, I'm going to turn it back because it should be popping more. I'm going to turn it back to medium. I turned it medium low, but it really should be popping more. That's fine. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to let it, uh, I'm going to let it fry here for a couple of minutes. Three, four minutes, the way you would any chicken breast. I'm also going to use my mama's method of basting with oil. <laughs> Alright, so we'll come back to this. Alright, so here's my done chicken breast. It got nice color. Pretty thick. Nice crust. Let's see. Yeah. So I fried it about, <clears throat> excuse me, four minutes one side, four minutes the other side. Okay? If it's thinner, it'll take quicker. And I just wanted to say, like, if you're ever afraid with frying chicken and stuff, ooh, look at this side. Nice. What you can do is look for the thickest point in the chicken. This is about, I guess, like right here. And you can cut into it and take a look at it. I don't want to do that now because I don't want to ruin this, but you look inside, if it's white, the meat is cooked, and you press down a little bit, the, you know what, let's do it. The liquid should be uh, clear. So that's the thickest part. Let me cut all the way. I'm doing this for you guys. You see, the meat is nice and white. And if you notice, I don't know if you can notice the juices there, they run clear. So this is cooked, a thousand percent cooked. 
if the the liquid was you know yellowish or brownish that means it's not cooked all right I sacrificed this to show you all right let's let's move on to the mmm let's put it on a bun all right here we go so I think when you order the spicy chicken sandwich from you know who I think they put mayo on it so I have some light mayonnaise I don't like mayonnaise too much but we'll put some here and there and then I don't remember if they put the lettuce and tomato on top or on bottom this is green leaf lettuce you know why not put some on the top and the bottom Why not? Oop. You know what? Let me settle this and make it look pretty for you. Hold on, let me put this on another plate. Oh, 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 if you're wondering, that chunk that I cut off to show you how to check if it's cooked, it's here. And you know what? It's gone. All right, so here's my version of the spicy chicken sandwich remember I cut that piece off just to demonstrate something to you ignore that look how nice and chunky and beautiful but now <clears throat> let us give it a taste even though I tasted this side already Oh my goodness, I may not go to that other place anymore, ever. Alright now people look, I'm not saying it because I made it, well yeah I am saying it because I made it, but this joint's mad good, alright, I don't know if the camera's focusing, I don't care. <clears throat> when you get the spicy chicken sandwich from the other place, It's pretty good. I'm talking with my mouth full. Sorry. Wait, my mother's gonna beat me. Yeah, so as I was saying, when you get those uh spicy chicken sandwiches from other places, it's like good, but it's not the spice has no kick. <clears throat> the benefit here is that you're seasoning it, it yourself, you're putting something spicy in the egg and something spicy in the uh cornstarch and flour mixture, and it's it's mad good. It's crazy good. And it's actually nice and crunchy. Alright. 